Good morning, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is my new flat. I've been here for five months and I've done some work to it and I wanna show you around. So I moved in here, I'm gonna take you to the living room, let's start there. I'm gonna give you a full tour of this place. So I moved in here, got the keys end of October, I think October the 30th. So I've been here, we're in April now, I've been here five and a bit months. God, really? Yeah, about five months. And so much work has been done here. Um, I've literally had builders in for about three months and got this place sorted. And it's now at a place that I feel very comfortable with. Um, it's still not perfect. Is it ever gonna be perfect? Probably not. There's still boxes, there's still stuff, but this is where I live. And um, it's always gonna be a bit like, a bit like this, I suppose. So this is the living room. This was the first room that was done. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is marble green. It's beautiful. It's got this sort of, um, I mean, it's very much a trend, these sort of emerald colors, but I absolutely love it. In here, the main changes were that um, there's been two new plasterboard walls put in. Also, all the ceilings in every room have been lowered slightly. The reason for that was that it was gonna be spotlights in every room, and then I decided, no, I actually like pendant lights. I think you can actually style them up a little bit better and I wanted to kind of move where they were to change the focus of the rooms they were lowered anyway and I put in I didn't obviously put in but rock wheel insulation it sounds insulation um, insulation to really kind of like dampen the sound this is a sort of 1950s ex-council block in London so it's it's not exactly the quietest I pulled out the old uh, gas fire I just decided I was going to keep it because I kind of like the whole kitsch vibe and then I thought, no, get rid of it. So I pulled it out and now I really like this being open. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. At the moment, again, it's a bit of a mess. There's no pictures up yet. I'm due to go to Scotland whenever I can. And a lot of my pictures are at home with my parents. So I'm gonna take them down, get stuff onto the walls. The floor, the wooden floor throughout is literally my favorite thing in this. It's hardwood flooring. I decided just to go all out. I was gonna get engineered wood, um, and that's kind of what my budget was for. But this arrived, and I hadn't realized that I'd ordered um, like a sample of hardwood, and I really fell in love with it, so, oh well. This is my favorite piece in the whole of the flat. This is my 1930s German dresser. I'm the second owner. The first owner had it made for her in Germany. I got it in a place in Brixton, I saw it, and I was like, I have to have that. I actually bought that before I had the flat. So I put it into storage, and it's been in storage for about six months, maybe even seven months, as well as um, the stuff I had from the office. Do you wanna go to my bedroom next? Oh, we've only just met. Okay, so this is my bedroom, and I love it. There's no clothing in it, there's no TV, there's no devices. Um, it's just, well, except my Alexa. Hi, Alexa. But it's just a beautiful room. This color is called Sooty Lashes. My first ever pet was a cat called Suits. So when I saw this color, I thought, yes. I painted this room. I also did the skirting. It's not perfect. Um, I also painted the ceiling. It's really not perfect. I think when I maybe get some money back in my bank account in a few hundred years, I might get someone to come in and sort of professionally paint. Um, but I like it, I really like it. The bed is an ottoman, so it's got storage underneath. There used to be a cupboard. Um, the cupboard was here, so I had it sealed up and then I had it open from the other side, um, basically to allow for more room in the hallway and less room in here. Then, hallway back here. This color is beautiful. This is New York City winter. I'm gonna switch that off. New York City winter, and it's, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's a blue, it's not blue, it's a greeny gray white. And I think it's just opened it up. Nothing has been taken down in terms of the ceiling in here, but the consumer unit, so all the electricals, was here. That has been moved, and it's now got a sort of fake wall at the end of the corridor, um, which is where it's got the little coal stub uh, cupboard. The next room, I'm gonna save the bathroom. Um, this is my dressing room. That sounds really fancy, a bit wanky. Um, I'm very much, hi, I'm a YouTuber, I've got a dressing room. But this is kind of like studio room, clothing room, um, product room, 
and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. It feels a bit like um, some sort of very swish martini bar. When I first had this um, painted, it was a blue color and I liked it, but every time I came back in here, I just didn't feel how I wanted to feel. So I decided to repaint it. So it's now this color. This is a Rothschild, Rothschild something? Chateau Rothschild. To me, it says red wine lips. Um, I drank quite a lot of red wine last night, actually, and I'm feeling like I'm sweating this out. So apologies if you've got a sweaty Robin. Um, but this is Chateau Rothschild, this sort of purpley red, really lush, uh, just like boozy, decadent, beautiful. And I'm into it. This whole room is just about having a sort of safe, comfortable, enveloping space. Um, the cupboard was brought out of here. There was a little cupboard in the corner, so I've opened it all up. But I love this room. I really, really love this room. This is the same sort of storage system that I had in my last flat, but I've doubled it up so it's got far more. I um, measured up for shelving on the top of this, and then I just put in these brackets just to give it more space. Um, where all the bags are sitting, bit of a mess at the moment. And behind me, I did all of this. So I have put um, shelving up for shoes and products and stuff. And then these are just, I, I didn't really want to do any Ikea, but do you know what, Ikea really does serve a purpose. These are two Ikea um, chest of drawers. Come with me. Um, so you'll be seeing, this used to have two doors. One door there, one door there, and that would go into the toilet, and then that would go into the shower room or the bathroom. Um, that is no longer, and this is now just a one-er. This is one room, um, and I love it. I thought it was gonna feel a lot smaller, but no, it doesn't. This is porcelain marble effect tiles with a sort of gold flecking in it, so it's not your sort of traditional black and white marble. This is my vanity unit. Hello, just me, um, with a light which I really enjoy. The shower is great. I managed to get this bathroom for something really cheap, actually. I, re I really do shop around. Um, the builder, I really only had one guy on this whole place who was fantastic. Um, the company he worked for were not hugely organized and they stressed me out and the project management was lacking. But um, the work that was done, I'm really happy with. But he created this little product shelf for me. Um, I think he realised how much of a product freak I was and he's created that. So the bath is actually pretty small, but it was because three walls in here were taken in. Um, again, so that we could get all the piping, all the electricals behind it. Before that was all ahead of the wall and it just really kind of dated the, the place. Um, so that is there, little product shelf and I love that. And a new radiator. Um, I got quite good at sourcing stuff, like very much online, um, and found lots of different things. The kitchen, nothing's been done except there was excess wooden floor that was um, that was left over from, from the whole place. And I just said, take it all the way through. I want wooden floor throughout. And, um, and that's what we've got. So great. I'm gonna change little things in here, like the knobs on the cupboard. I wanna change. I'm gonna get this light changed because it's tack AF. Um, and I just want to zhuzh it up slightly. I'll probably have, I say this, I'll probably have a DIY weekend of trying to get all this done. Likelihood is I will get someone else to do this um, just because I've also realized that focus on what you're good at in life and get someone else to do what they're good at. So if you like DIY, like I actually do, you know, I've done all the shelves, I've done stuff in the cupboards, um, I've done other things. I really enjoy it. My dad's an engineer, very much grew up with practical stuff around me. Um, but I also realized that actually me sitting writing or doing a video with you guys um, is what I'm better at, he says. Um, so, where else have I got to show you? Oh yes, of course. So come hither and up to the front of the house is the house. It's a flat robin in London, get over yourself. Um, this is my office. It's my office and I love it. This. Uh, blue, it's called Comfy Cozy. It was very similar to the first color that was in the dressing room, but I have kept it in here. I think blue is a great color for me. It's a color which is soothing. It's a color which is calming. It's, um, I feel really sort of like I can work in here, which is good. This uh, 
how many walls were taken in this? Four. All four walls were taken in. This was a freezing room. So all four walls were taken in and the ceiling came down. More plug sockets again. Um, the desk I found on Etsy. I also found the same desk on eBay and somewhere else. So it was one vintage desk from the 60s. Say it with conviction. One vintage desk from the 60s that someone was selling across multiple places. So I managed to get the best price on Etsy. Um, and I love it. It's chunky, it's big, it's a bit like Mad Men, and it's, it's just beautiful. And then, you know how much products I've got. Um, if you don't, then I have a lot of products um, on manfromself.com and also on Man From Self YouTube channel. Hi. Um, so I have got these all boxed in. I've got someone coming next week who is going to create a frame that's gonna go around. These are just Ikea. I changed the little knobs to like things that, the knobs are actually kind of like more expensive than these, but I like them. So a frame is gonna be built around this, so it's gonna look like it's been built into the wall. So that's very much an ongoing. The sofa is from the office. Uh, my mum bought that for me actually when I was moving into the big office that I had in Brixton. And luckily it still fits in here and I think it's great. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this place. As I say, it is, it's very much a work in progress. So there's still stuff to be done. And um, well, link, I'll find like links and stuff to lights. And also you can ask in the comments where stuff is from. Um, but I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with it. It's starting to feel like a home. It's starting to feel like I'm kind of like getting myself sorted. Um, and there'll still be stuff ongoing. So I'll, I'll keep you updated. Um, and you can also just ensure that you follow me on Instagram for all the ins and the outs of my life. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Here we go. Thank you very much for watching. Still new to this, you're still not press subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. And head to manfromself.com there. And I'll give you other things in the cards. But until my next new video, bye-bye.